I really do believe that kindness and generosity are two of the most incredible traits a couple has to have to have a successful relationship. Mm -hmm. Can well, you simplify it I, that much? You, you know, I think you can. When we're in the middle of fighting, when we're, we're in the middle of having conflict with someone, we're not kind mm -hmm. and we are not generous of spirit. You used the word that I was going to use, mm -hmm. cultivate. Mm -hmm. When you're angry, you cannot be heard. It is that cut and dried. Now, here's the hard part. And, and actually, it's really hard. <laughs> so, in fact, it's really, really hard. <laughs> know thyself? <laughs> it is. It is. Every man that watches this video is going to be going, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Uh, and every I was woman, actually feeling yes, yes, yes. And, and I hope every woman that watches it is going yes, yes, yes. Join me, Fresh Princess, in a conversation with best-selling author Dr. David Hawkins, director of the Marriage Recovery Center, where we have a conversation on how to build intimacy in your relationships and never fight again. I hope you enjoy this series and find something very meaningful to take away and apply in your relationships. Welcome back. Today I have a special guest for you. So we are in Sayulita, Mexico, and I was sitting at a coffee shop doing some work, and this beautiful, happy couple comes in. They sit down next to me and we start talking. And it was David and Christy, his wife. And Naturally, they asked what I was working on, and I said a YouTube video. Well, Dr. Hawkins <laughs> happens to be a fellow YouTuber. So we started talking about YouTube and creating videos, and he agreed to talk about relationships with me. So why did he want to talk about relationships? Well, he happens to be a best-selling author when pleasing others is hurting you. You've got it. You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Among, what, 37 other books. Yes. He's also the director, an active psychologist. Correct. The director of the Marriage Recovery Center. Now, I'm going to put all of his links and contact information below this video. So if you're inclined, you can check him out on your own. Today we're going to talk about relationships. My favorite topic. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. One of mine too. All right. Very good. So about mm, two months ago I was reading an article in The Atlantic and it was written by Emily Smith. In her article, Emily referenced a study by Dr. John Gottman, his wife, Julie Gottman, both of them psychologists, and did they start the Love Lab? You know, I think they did start the Love Lab, and of mm -hmm. course they've, they've written uh, a number of bestsellers, and all of us in the clinical field, we know about Dr. Gottman, mm -hmm. and, and I think you're gonna talk about some of the things that they've found, and I'm gonna add some things that I've found too. Mm -hmm. So in this study, she distilled two characteristics, yeah. two primary characteristics that are vital for working and functioning really happy are. relationships. Those two characteristics really resonated with me personally because they're two characteristics that both my husband and I struggle with in our own relationship and generally that's what makes us remember something yeah. so clearly when yeah. it has a personal effect. So the two components to successful relationships were generosity and kindness. I was hoping that maybe you would elaborate on that and give us your thoughts. Can well, you simplify it I, that much? I, you, you know, I think you can. Mm -hmm. I, I really do think you can. So I write a lot about conflict and couples that are fighting and so on. and. Of course, when we're in the middle of fighting, when we're, we're in the middle of having conflict with someone, we're not kind mm -hmm. and we are not generous of spirit. Mm -hmm. Generosity, I think that's just such a wonderful idea and a wonderful concept. When we're generous, Corinne, you know, we, we are able to make concessions, mm -hmm. we're able to give, we're able to extend ourselves for the welfare of another person. 
by the way, that's a quote from Scott Peck in his, mm-hmm. his best-selling book, The Road Less Traveled. I love his phrase that love means extending yourself for the welfare of another person. That takes generosity. Mm-hmm. Generosity, of course, has got to come from a large heart. Mm-hmm. You've got to have space within you. And now comes my point about conflict. If you're in conflict and if you're living with tension with someone, you're not going to feel generous. In fact, you're going to feel protective, which I write a lot about. So when we're in a good place, when we're in our authentic self and when we're generous of spirit and when we feel safe, safety is a key issue, by the way. I would add that one to their list. Mm -hmm. But when we're safe, we can feel kindness. We can feel generous. So yes, I really do believe that kindness and generosity are two of the most incredible traits a couple has to have to have a successful relationship. Now if you're not a generous person by nature, or perhaps you weren't raised with that kind of example in your house and it was kind of a, oh, all, all, like the American culture, like everybody for themselves, how do you cultivate and how do you begin to even develop generosity? 